Ultra Video Pirate Oi! I wanted to make this video showing you how to live stream on Periscope.tv without your Android or iPhone. Did you know that you can use external encoders to live stream to Periscope? And one of those is OBS Studio, which I use. So the first thing you want to do is log in to your Periscope.tv account. Then click on your avatar and then select producer and that'll take you to this screen now caveat mTOR anytime you mess around with stream names stream keys you do not want to divulge them to the public except unless you can change them on Periscope you can create a new source and you can change your stream name stream key so when I'm done with this video I'm gonna change my stream key because I don't want anybody to use this so you, what you'll need is these two pieces of information the server URL and the stream name stream key the source display name is optional and you can stream via a external encoder probably Wirecast XSplit OBS Studio I'm gonna show you how to live stream to Periscope.tv using OBS Studio you might want to heed their warnings these are the limitations the audio codec should be AAC 44.1 sample rate I wouldn't worry about the bit rate I, it, I would ref, when you go into the screen you'll see a different number I think they recommend 96 kilobits per second I don't know if they yeah 96 kilobits per second is suggested maximum bit rate for audio two channels for stereo video codec AVC maximum suggested bit rate for video is 800 kilobits per second mine is set way higher for YouTube and daily motion it down converts it but you may have a problem where you need to adjust it and lower yours the video frame rate suggested rate is 25 frames per second video keyframe interval and in, in interval in seconds is 2 video width 1280 is what mine is set at but their maximum suggested width and height is 960 by 540 now when I stream in 1280 by 720 it downgrades it and it seems to work okay but with your encoder you may have to adjust the settings to periscope.tv's recommended settings or their their limitation their limited settings alright so now I'm gonna show you OBS studio okay so in OBS studio you first want to grab the server URL just click on it once and it gets copied into the copy buffer the you know what I'm saying now go back to OBS studio click on settings and then click on stream now OBS studio does not have a separate a separate configuration for periscope.tv not yet so you have to hit under the stream type you want to select custom streaming server and then here's where you put in that RTMP URL RTMP is real networks it's a streaming server so put the URL there then the stream key again you want to change the stream key if if somebody finds out or if you accidentally you know unless you accidentally you know what I'm saying like what I'm doing it does not require authentication then my screen is kinda scrambled up so I have to click X so save your settings save your settings and then now I'm gonna show you one other thing you need to do in the back end of periscope.tv oh I don't want the display okay let's transition back and let me move this back okay so now you click on checking for source now you're gonna preview the stream to make sure it works so click on checking for source it'll take a few seconds as long as you have the correct server URL and the correct stream name it should eventually populate <clears throat> come on now oh wait a minute my bad <laughs> let's go back you have to hit start streaming which is right here click on start streaming bam and then let me transition back now now you should be able to click on check source so you're gonna just preview the feed give it a few seconds to populate and 
I recommend that you do a sound check, but I always do a sound check before I go live because you just never know when something happens and you know, you sit there and talk on video for half an hour but nobody heard you. All right, it should eventually populate. I know it did before. Eventually I'll be able to see my video. Now, before that shows up, broadcast title, only users you follow can chat, so you can restrict it to only people that follow you that are allowed to chat. And then also share this broadcast on Twitter is checked. That will send a tweet once you go live. We can hide the warnings for now. I don't know why the video is not populating. We'll just go live and we'll test it. So I'll click on the go live button. And then I just received a tweet. I don't know why this is. It could be my computer. It could be Google Chrome. I'm assuming it's going to work and we'll verify that. This should show up. You should be able to preview your your source and as you can see I received a new tweet stipulating that my Periscope is live and per Twitter purchased Periscope so that's why you can view your you can view Periscope on Twitter now so I'm gonna play it with live and there you go and per Twitter, so we are just live streaming so that's why on. You, you can view Periscope, your and Twitter, I guess, if you want to. I mean, you know, people that follow you on Twitter, when you Periscope, they will get a tweet as long as you set that one. As long as you left that checkbox, it will tweet out when you go live, and then also you can restrict the chat to just your followers if you want. This should not, I might be able to refresh it because I want to show you that you can actually preview it. Check, box. there it is. So you it can preview the stream when you go live. live. Before you click on go live, the yellow the, the chat the to red button, just your you might want to preview if you want. want. Just to make sure the audio works, just to make sure your, you know, the, the video is working to your specifications, just to make sure the stream is working. And then I can also go back out here and go to my profile on periscope.tv on a computer. And I can also, it's, it's going to play here too, but I can mute it. Sure. So I can, you can verify you know, the, this way the too. The video is working to yours. And as you can see, I'm live. Specifications just to make sure the this stream is the sixth is broadcast. And then I can also go back. So that is how you broadcast on Periscope using OBS Studio. I think you can probably use these same set steps if you are using Wirecast or XSplit. All you need is the RTMP URL and the stream key. That's all you need. You don't need to authenticate. And then when, when you're done, you just click on Stop Broadcast. And then there, those are the, the, the settings you need and I will go over them one more time how about that one more time so you go into OBS studio I would say also Wirecast XSplit you take your RTMP URL copy it then go into settings and then go into the stream on oops I have to cut I have to stop streaming okay I have to okay now I cut the stream and all right so now I should be able to come on come on come on OBS studio there we go now I can go into settings in OBS studio when you're streaming you can't go into the stream settings and change these so normally by default you're gonna see this you're gonna see OBS studio it's gonna have the streaming services the stream type and then you you would click on this down menu on service and you'll see these that are pre-filled so far OBS studio has not created an entry for periscope.tv maybe they will in the future maybe they won't but you can do it by creating your own customized streaming server and you just populate the the URL and then you get the stream key copy and then paste it you do not need authentication. You do not need to mess with the use authentication. Click on show in case you forget if you put in the right key or not. And that will show the key. Click on hide. Click 
yes or save I for whatever reason on my computer it's hard for me to see the rest of the I don't know why I can't see the bottom so I always click X so say you want to save your changes then you would click start streaming and then you would click on checking for source and then when you verified you have sound and video then you would click on go live and if you need any other additional information when you go to your profile on your avatar click view profile well not view profile no click producer if you're having problems you can check the warnings and you might have to adjust your audio and video settings to the maximum suggested by Periscope but I've been live streaming on Periscope for a little while now like five broadcasts and I haven't had a problem even though I broadcast in 1280 by 720 I don't want to change those settings because those settings are for daily motion and YouTube it seems to downgrade it okay but you might have to adjust these on your on your computer or with your setup so that's how you live stream to periscope.tv using OBS studio tip me via super chat on a live stream PayPal my contribution format my website ain't computers.com and or sign up to become a patron on my patreon page and all of those links are in this video description YouTube video